Hi, this is Joe from Denise, and I would like to introduce you to the Sweeper, a dynamic resonant filter that adjusts its frequency based on the loudness of the source or sidechain signal. You can go from this to this. In this example, we went creative and assigned a kick to the sidechain input of the sweeper on a synth track. Pay attention to how the sweeper sidechain on the kick controls the synth, adjusting its frequency, creating wobbles and new movement. And now from this... To this. In this example, we use two sweepers on a bright and broad spectrum synth. The first sweeper is used to create a pattern through the side chain, which is linked to the percussion's delay. This way, the percussion and the synth reply to each other. The second sweeper is used to gradually open up the whole frequency spectrum. This combination makes the synth really organic, and the combinations possible are very many. And now from this to this. Here we're using the sweeper to create a 303 style filter, which can be used on any synth to give that classic sound. But with the sweeper, you have even more control over the whole behavior of the filter. Listen how the bass line morphs and screams as we boost the resonance of this incredible sounding filter. The sweeper can be used creatively and introduce much more space into your mix. Now let me explain in detail how the sweeper and its controls work. Here is the drum loop. Now here is the drum loop with a normal filter with a high cut and a resonant boost. Now with the sweeper's dynamic filtering. The dynamic filter adjusts filter cuts based on the input signal over time. This allows you to create a more natural and precise sounding filter that works great on any sound. It can replace standard gating and gives you a smoother sounding alternative to sidechain compression. Dynamic filter techniques are used by many professional producers and the sweeper's design and functionality makes these techniques available in an easy to use and precise way. So drop your standard filter and start sweeping. Now let me show you what the sweeper is made up of and what it is capable of. Let's take this beat as an example. Here we have input and output, which controls the in and output level of your signal. Let's see what happens when we change the frequency's start and end point. You can also lock them like this. When you change the attack filter, the attack reacts slower or faster. The same applies to the release too, of course. This drastically changes the final effect of the sweep, making it able to create wobbles or snappy frequency sweeps. Also listen to how the plugin responds to a new groove from the drum beat.
Here you have filter options. You have two different filters available, high pass filter and low pass filter that dramatically change the behavior of this plugin. We can use the high pass filter when we want to take out low end. This is usually very useful for cleaning low rumble from your tracks. And we've got an amazing sounding low pass filter cutting the high frequencies, which is the secret weapon for any synth, but not just synths. Slope is the amount of filtering applied to the source. It can go from gentle filtering of 12 decibels per octave for a smooth effect to a sharper filtering of 48 decibels per octave to really isolate the desired frequencies of your audio material. Now let's turn up the resonance real high to make this sound scream and to show you how much you can push this without the sound breaking up. Listen to what happens when this is coupled with the Denise saturator. Now let's use the sidechain. The sidechain makes the filter react to another source, making it possible to filter the synth from another sound in your project, the drums in this example. This is great for many uses like creating drops and wobbles, also allowing a bass line to work with a kick drum without that classic intrusive EDM pumping sound. This means that the bass line stays very clean and elegant instead, and avoids frequency clashes in your final mix and allows affected sounds to cut through the mix sharply. As we move the attack and release, the whole synth part wobbles very differently with the sidechain. We can use the bias to change how much the filter will react to the audio content, creating wider sweeps and vice versa. You can really change the way the sweeper sounds by playing with this. You can also inverse the two frequencies. This is great because you can instantly compare the opposite's behavior for instant new creative ideas. Listen to what happens now. So here we have showcased some of the possibilities of the sweeper. Check out the other examples for engineering and creative uses on our website. We hope you've had as much fun as we have had with this.